I promised you to give you some examples of word breakdown structures. Here are some examples. Like I said, you can make your own. There is no real rule what to write in the word breakdown structures. There are ways to do it better than others. You can start with it and here we have two examples for building a house and for planning your holiday. The structures are not complete because we don't have enough space here on the presentation to show everything. But it's a good start and you can use it for later on or build a work breakdown structure which is applicable to your work situation. Let's look at our house. Level zero, let's decompose. What can we find? For example, we can find the preparation, the design, the tender we have to send out, the construction itself, and the contract. We can also split this as different phases. But it depends on the size of the project. So in our case, let's just consider it as one part, one project. Preparation, we can look at the financial situation, locations, selection of architect, types of contracts and permits that you need. The design we can split up in the preliminary design and the final design. We have to write a tender, we have to uh, make a selection of the people who replied to the tender and then following that we have to make a contract. So these are elements which could be part of the tender. The construction itself there are earthworks, foundations, structural works, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, electricity, uh, all other things that you can imagine. And there could be a lot more. Like I said, we don't have enough space here. Contract at the end, we have to look at maintenance of what we built, electricity contracts, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, water, sewage, perhaps other contracts that you have to foresee you may have to have the contracts related to the swimming pool if you have a swimming pool all the things that are part of your house then we look at the preliminary design we look at the outside view which is very important to have an idea for permits how will it look inside we have to do some calculations about costs uh, some preliminary uh, stability calculations these things come here and we have to, when this is approved, also consider the final contract where we have the plan, we have the stability, the layout, the materials and the description. All these things can be part of the project for making a house. Like I said, it can be rather complicated. We don't have enough space here. And when you're an architect, you will have those things already available when you want to build your own house, it's a good way to think about how will you tackle the project which is building your house. It identifies a lot of interesting elements. Let's look at another project. It may be better for you. Let's consider going on a holiday. What are the high level elements of the holiday? We have to select the holiday we want to make. We have to prepare for it. We have to look at the transport that we're going to use, the location. We will have to plan the holiday itself. Then we have the holiday, the execution of the holiday. And then reporting means we're going to make some nice photo book about our holiday. Selection, we have to look at financing. What criteria do we want to use to select the holiday? What are the possible destinations? And we have to make an evaluation and selection from those different possibilities. We have to prepare the holiday. We have to look at the legal issues and health issues. All things to consider. Transport, we may look at air, road, water transportation. Location, we may be considering the different towns that we are looking at and the sites we want to see and the itinerary. Planning. planning is also important. We have to look at the airplane tickets, 
road tickets for buses, other things, hotels and reservations we have to make. The holiday itself, the final destination, the traveling there, some other details we have to look at. Reporting, we bring all our documentation together. We can make an album, we can make a video, we can make calendars, other things we want to do. We can organize a presentation for our friends or for some organization. We have to go back to the legal elements and we can decompose this further. So we have issues related to passport or identity papers we need, visa, other documents. When I traveled to Rwanda, I was staying in some military headquarters and they gave me a special permit to enter the uh, barracks. Otherwise, I would have problems just entering there. So there may be other documents you need. When I visited the gorillas, I had a letter stating that I had reserved. All these things may be important that you need, that may have some legal binding power. Health may be very important. Certainly when we get a little bit older or we visit specific destinations, we may have to have a checkup before. We may have to carry some health equipment with us certificates about uh, inoculations and other elements that we have, first aid kit, and in certain places we need some vaccinations or special medicine, for example, against malaria, yellow fever, uh, dengue, hepatitis A and B, all kinds of things you may have to think about. Once you made this for one holiday, you can use it for all the other holidays. I'm not telling you that you have to do a project out of all of your holidays, but if you're traveling a lot, finally you also create some knowledge and you may have a kind of checklist that may be like a WBS. So you saw how to make those WBSs. We had some examples here. You can try it, you can make it, do it with the team and then you find out how you want to make your WBS. You can make a template, you will review the template and adjust it to the specific needs and the problems you encountered. Once we have this finished, we can go to the next step and see you in the next session.